Hello, stylers. Welcome back to Full Snout Ink. How you guys been? Hope you've been good. I hope you guys have been enjoying, I don't even want to say the start of your year because it's March, that your year has been well. <laughs> that your, uh, that you have been well. Um, I've been okay. I've been better. And that is why I wanted to come and finally sit down and have a talk with you guys. I don't even remember the last video I uploaded. I don't even remember the last video I uploaded. I don't even know what was it about. I don't even know if I sat down to talk with you guys or not. And that's crazy. Mm. Um, so, where have I been? Has Nadia did that thing that she do when she takes an unauthorized break? Um, so, so, where have I been? Where have I been? Where have I been? I've been in this room. I've been in this room. I've been in my room. Um, so I wanted to talk to you guys, give you guys an update, a check in, um, tell you of some things that are changing. Um, slightly drastic changes. Um, I'm not feeling well at the very moment, um, which is why I'm sipping tea and I'm sitting on my heated blanket. Uh, I don't even know where to start. Oh my God, why am I being so dramatic? I don't even know where to start. Okay, so the reason why I have not posted and uploaded in the past month or two, I think, um, is a combination of a few reasons. And I feel like every time I come on here and do one of these, it's an excuse, but I promise you guys, I'm not the excuse type of person. For those of you guys who don't know, and for those of you guys who care, I was diagnosed literally this time last year. It was March, April of last year with andromesiosis, which is a chronic pain disorder that affects, um, that is caused by the thickening your uterine lining in your uterus. And um, a few years ago, I part I shared with some shared with you guys that. I have fibroids and I had to get fibro surgery and all the other stuff and um, last year uh, the pain got worsened and the pain worsened and after some tests and everything like I had to get an MRI I had to get s several ultrasounds blood work um I was officially diagnosed and I've been put on treatment I was going to physical therapy for pain management my, I, I, I have always been anemic, but my blood levels was extremely low because of the amount of bleeding. And I was put on iron infusion treatments because the regular iron pills were cutting me up. I mean the worst, not even being, um constipated just oh my oh in may of last year when i got back from jamaica and i missed like two days of taking my iron pills i took one and i had the the worst stomach ache of my life and i was in the house alone crying and i didn't know whether i should call 911 or call someone to come get me to take me to the hospital because it was terrible and so yeah i was putting on iron fusion so the reason why I mention all this is because a lot of times when I I'm, a, I'm delayed on a when I was delayed on a video it was because I physically physically could not handle either pushing record like actually sitting in front of a camera and talking and doing record or sit and edit the video that I had recorded. There is so much footage. On my phone, on my camera, 
in my on my computer in my hard drive of vlogs of tutorials of videos that I have recorded but I have I've not edited it because I physically could not I didn't have the energy to sit and and edit it because I just because when if anybody who ever has anything like you're physically in pain like you've passed the point of like oh my god I cannot bear it it messes with you mentally so me sitting somewhere and focusing long enough to edit a video was impossible and then sometimes it would be so bad I would just take a gummy I'm sorry my cat just hurled himself down the hallway he all right um, sometimes I would just take a gummy, a full gummy, edible, I'm, I'm talking about that, and I would just go to sleep, or I would just zone out, I would just ride the zone out, curled up with my heated blanket and a mug of raspberry tea, because <laughs> I, I, mm. um, and for those of you guys who are like, I don't understand, what, 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 what is this, um, and to the point where I didn't even have to be on my cycle to be in pain as as of today like how I am today and sometimes I wouldn't even know why I was in pain and certain stuff that I ate caused pain so cutting out red meats cutting being cutting out dairy I had to be careful how much sugar I intake and then also physical activities such as lifting and moving heavy objects objects caused um the the cramps or the pain because I'm lifting from my midsection I'm lifting from this area it it, it it aggravated it especially if I was already on my cycle and I was already cramping and then I was doing all this so for you guys know I moved last year into my own apartment and I was she hulking the 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 first the first few I was she hoking the first week of two weeks or so of us moving like all in September I was heat lifted well in September I I was shown why I shouldn't been doing that and it laid me out for a few days and it was hard for me to it literally go to work and to be at work um one day I had to leave work early I was so in pain I don't think that was because of the lifting but. Yeah, so anywho, I was so I was in so much pain. Um and so I had to I couldn't help with moving heavy stuff. So it kind of closed, it kind of slowed us down with getting rid of so much of the stuff that was in my grandmother's house. And that is another reason why my content and everything has been affected is because we spent the last Damn near six months going to my grandmother's house. I don't want to say every weekend because that's an exaggeration. Sometimes we went during the week picking stuff out of the house. Stuff that we left there because we kind of left crazy. My mom is not the best person to move with. She doesn't listen. <laughs> and so we were still taking stuff out of the house, putting stuff into storage. Mom had to go through a lot of stuff, and just last week, um, the time you're seeing this video is probably like a good week, two weeks after this, the house was finally emptied out, and the house was officially sold, it's officially off our hands, but as of January 2024, we still had a significant amount of stuff in the house. And my sister, Imani, who's my middle sister, who was still living in Ohio, moved back to Chicago, moved in with us. She had to start doing a lot of the heavy lifting and physical labor because my mom is old. She's not able to do it. My sister, Christina, could only do so much by herself. And then it was me who was, you know, I was doing the bulk of it, but like, I came because I was, it, it literally was hurting me to do that. Like I, I, I wouldn't want to, I would try, I would try and I would suffer for it. Um, so not only am I in physical pain, but every weekend, mostly every weekend, we're going to this house and we're in this house Saturday um all day saturday so if i was 
wanted to edit any content and do anything I couldn't because I was in the house and then the days that I did feel good the days that I was able to get done I was still trying to have a social life I had friends birthdays and I had my birthday and um yeah I haven't really done anything else besides that yeah I haven't been to any events and any out outdoor activities but like I, you know I, I was still trying to function and then you know I have two jobs that I work and so a lot of my time was spent between in and out of my bed in pain miserable to trying to be creative trying to run a business trying to start a launch a business trying to be creative so that I can teach art to tiny humans it's been a lot and a, a, unfortunately YouTube has suffered. Um, sometimes, a few times in the past, it'd be like I put all my energy into Instagram and then YouTube suffers, or I put all my energy into YouTube and then Instagram suffers. And then it was around like last year, year before I was trying, I was coming in, in in the middle where I was learning how to merge those two and give them both equal balance. And it's just, <sighs> it seemed like every time I got on a good foot with YouTube and I was pumping out content, something happened. <laughs> For instance, last year for Halloween, I was pumping out content. I was getting to, and when I tell you, I have my Halloween content together, plans, I had supplies ready. I didn't feel well, and the the last costume that I was making was my Ursula costume, which is done now. I'm one of just done now. I was not feeling well that weekend. I felt like shit that week. I didn't even go out that weekend, and I had brought tickets to go to things. And I didn't go to them with my sister. And I did the makeup. I put the stuff to go. But I sat down and looked in the footage. And I did not like it. It was trash. I didn't like how I did my makeup. I didn't like how the setup looked. I didn't like how I felt. I didn't like how I, I could see how I looked. Like I, I could see how I feel in the video. So you guys didn't get that. Y'all didn't get that Ursula costume that I've been wanting to do for years. Um, And so... Yeah, it's like every time I sat down to record something, something happened. And so, not physically well, battling that, learning to learn, learning to live with a chronic pain disorder, understanding what that is, having to take care of this thing with the family and the house and everything, and then... Lastly, it's just all of that in combination with the fact that uh, I said to my sister today, I sometimes miss the dining room at my grandmother's house. I don't miss my grandmother's house. I don't miss living there. I don't miss my room there. I also had, I had a whole moment I said goodbye to my room when it was completely empty. Anywho, I don't miss it, but I miss the fact of how much space I have. I do not have space to create here in this apartment. And I knew that before coming in here and I told myself I wasn't gonna be upset, I wasn't gonna get angry, I wasn't going to compare, I wasn't gonna do that to myself. However, I am human and I am being honest. I don't like the fact that every time I have to create a soul, I have to literally take stuff out, set stuff up and put it back and it has, it has dampened my creativity because by the time I get everything done and set up and brought out and get myself together, I'm like, I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'm like, Ugh, I don't even feel like doing this. What am I doing? And I have so much stuff just like I have fabric. I have patterns. I have ideals. I have sketches. I have um, a, a, a folder of a note file in my in my phone and on my computer for the ideals. I have so much fabric and stuff and like I got mock up fabric to cause I got patterns I want to test out and new pattern brands I'm trying out. It's it's so much but I at times do not have the motivation to create and that is scaring me because I do not have the room to completely be in be in the mood like I don't have the room and it's because so 
me and me and my sister officially decided on this apartment it was supposed to be it's a three bedroom apartment and my sister is supposed to have the master bedroom and i was going to take the two smaller rooms because one room is going to be my workspace slash closet because you know i need that however with the situation with the house and all of that going on i'm telling you however comma my sister moved back in. My sister moved back to Chicago and she's staying with us. So my mom is moving out, but my sister is now in that third room. I still don't have my space, which is fine, which is cool. I love living with my sisters. We're having a ball. And sometimes I also want to strangle them, but that is life. However, I am now without a space. And I have, because I don't want to, our apartment is small. Well, it's not small, it's small. Um, I don't want to take over the dining room and the in the kitchen with my fabrics and my stuff. I can't do that like I did that at my grandmother's house. And so everything is in closets and in my room and put away and I have to and I and I, I feel like I'm I feel like I'm I feel like I feel like I'm complaining about the third world problem. I understand how this may sound to some people. There's real problems going on in the world. They real. I am aware of, of the many problems going on in the world. I am not one of those who are living in her own world and don't care about what's happening to people around the world. And some people that's happening up the street and down the streets. I, I see. I see it. I see it. But again, my creativity is my life. It is who I. It's a part of me. It's who I am. And it and it hurts me sometimes that I can't create. So that's where I'm coming from. So for somebody to be like, well, you know, you can be, no, uh -uh, don't do that. I'm talking about me. I'm, mm -mm. I do what I can. So, mm -mm. What's up about me? Now I feel. Ooh. This don't feel like it's whole all the way. It's not. It turned off. Why is it turned off? Okay. <sighs> Talking about me and my pain and me and my situation. So I, I would like to start looking for a studio space um, to house all of my stuff. And allow me the room to work in and even to the point where I can entertain clients I haven't even been sewing for clients and I need to I have one client that I've had for a long time we're going to stay for a long time and she's been giving me grace because she's all I've been moving and all that type stuff and then I wasn't feeling well so she you know she's I thank God that she's been gracious about it but like I don't want to keep holding on to this because for the sake of holding on to it. So, anywho, those three reasons, those three reasons are the reasons why I haven't been at, performing at the level I've been performing at. And that's just in my own personal life. That's for YouTube. That's just, that's just in general. Sometimes I don't want to get out the bed. And sometimes I'm itching to get out the bed. But my body doesn't want me out the bed and i i try to come on youtube i'm sorry i'm trying not to cry why am i getting emotional it's not even that serious when i show my face on social media and no one told me to do this i don't have to do this but this is how i choose to show up in the world sometimes I want to come showing positivity and creativity and just to inspire and motivate people because that's how I see YouTube. That's how I use social media to be inspired, to be motivated. And I don't mind opening up and being vulnerable and sharing things. However, I'm also not one that if I'm in a bad mood or I'm having a bad day and I'm sad and I'm crying, I'm not going to hit record. And you guys see that. I know some people do. Um, sometimes I do do video diaries and auto diaries. So that's that. But that stuff is for me and future Nadia. You know. That stuff for me and the person who's going to help write my autobiography. <laughs> that's for me. <laughs> um, and so. I don't always share those moments when I'm frustrated and I'm sad and I'm overwhelmed. And 
and I know people be like, well, you can share, you could be open, you could be vulnerable. Yeah, but that's, I, 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 I acknowledge those things. I am human. I do have down days. I'm not perfect. I'm not always going to have it together. I am a hot mess. But I'm not going to make that my content. And so you guys, I would rather you guys not get content. They get content of me when I'm not feeling my best. Like this right now, I had this whole day planned out. And it's nighttime. I don't know if you can tell. It is nighttime. I wanted this video filmed way earlier in the day. But I had some things to do. I was spending time with my sister. And then I had some other videos recorded i've recorded some style videos because i wanted to do some things with youtube i mean ig and tiktok i have some cute style videos and as i can as i got as i finally got to the style videos and doing those i slowly lost steam like i can i physically felt myself battery draining and then there was a pain that was happening that it, it was persistent in the pits of my stomach and I don't know why because I should not be on my periods I just got off that thing and so I've had a shortness of breath because I had a, um, a sinus infection and so I was losing steam so I wanted to come on here guys with a whole nother like a beat like you know this is what I've been going through but I'm okay guys I'm okay. I you know wants to be cute and you know I want to be comfortable and I want to talk to you guys and say, hey, life's been kicking my ass right now. <laughs> life has been kicking my ass and I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I literally save as much energy as I can to get through the week when I'm working. To get through Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Because I have to show off for the tiny humans that absolutely drive me crazy. And so, yes, all of that said, that has been the reason why I haven't been showing up in the YouTube space. Now, let's get into what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm not going to make a bunch of promises because, like I said, I've been in a place where I'm like, oh, I want to do this for YouTube. I want to do this year. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that, do that. And then I may do one or two things, but I never come back to it or something happens. Or I post a video, I work real hard on video, post it, and it doesn't get the, the views and the likes that I, 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 would, I would like to appreciate. And I know it's not about the views. It's not about the views. However, it is also about the views. I would like for YouTube to be a source of income. As of, as of right now, it's not. I'm, I'm not. I may get something every... Um, that's, that's really telling my business. It's not enough. It's, it's too it's not it's too far spread out in between for me to count this as a source of income and I would like for this to be my source of income and so it does get frustrating when I work on a video or I do a video and it doesn't get the like and views that I would like and then also that I'm not able to put all my energy and focus into that video because I'm not feeling well and I have to just like hurry up and finish it because like I really want it to be finished so it can really be updated so I don't get beat up by YouTube because I don't post on the same day that I always post on every week <laughs> and so that's frustrating and that goes the same thing for like IG and TikTok I'm really trying to I'm really trying to be out here and I can't and I'm not and I'm upset about it so it's not about the views, but it's kind of also about the views. I don't do this for the money, but I kind of also would like to get paid for it because I am putting a lot into it. You, you understand what I'm saying? Am I making sense? Um, so there are going to be changes. I'm not going to, there are no promises to be made. I'm not going to, I'm not going to say I'm going to do this and do that. I am going to say, the only thing I am going to say. Instead of doing long format videos, I will be switching to short format videos, mostly shorts, um, for the, uh, I don't know, and to, for, uh, not, not, I will be switching to short format videos, um, until further notice. <laughs> 
I will be I will share the things that I sh I do create I do share on my TikTok and my IG I will be sharing those here and then you guys of course will get additional content that is specifically in line with what I usually like to do on YouTube and so doing that to help takes the pressure off of me one having to keep a schedule of uploading every week at this time I can upload throughout the week a couple times throughout the week couple times throughout the day as well as um, I it takes the pressure off of me of having to create different content specifically for YouTube as well as to edit hours of footage into 15 20 minutes um, because I don't feel that I am at that place uh, viewer wise where you guys will sit down and watch an hour video because <laughs> I have some favorite content creators that upload our videos and I will sit there and watch that like I'll watch while I'm sewing or whatever so yes I will be moving to short form videos and that will help me in various different ways and um yeah i i wanted to give you guys an update about where i've been what's been going on how i've been doing why all this type of stuff i have been busy i have been creating i've been trying to create some stuff you're going to see some stuff you may never see some stuff i may have to bring it back around and act like it's brand new i don't know but hey I'm trying, um, but yeah, me not feeling well half the time for two to three weeks out of the month, um, and then this move, which is done, which is done, not, it's not even a move, it's past a move, this clean out, this weight, this, this noose around our neck, that damn house is over, it's done, we're waiting for the funds to be cleared. Um, and so, yes, it's done. So that's a beautiful thing. And then the next thing, I mean, you know, is me getting a space. It's me feeling comfortable. Like, I'm not even going to tell you how many, like, I, I lost my power cord and a uh, presser foot to my sewing machine. The last time I sold something, start to finish, was in January. I made a cute little pajama set. For my good, good friend Wanda's birthday because she wanted us to have matching pajamas. And I, for the first time in my life, placed the order for Shein, knowing the thing wouldn't fit. So I brought two in case I had to merge them together for the thing not only to fit, but not but fit in a way that, not fit in a way that I couldn't just, you know, do a woo, woo, woo. I, I had to make a whole new set of pants. And so I just ended up buying fabric, getting a new pattern, and making it. I don't know what happened to my sewing machine, to my power cord and presser foot afterwards. No idea. I didn't look everywhere. My sister, I didn't look everywhere. So I had to take up the presser foot from um, an old sewing machine, and I had to buy a new power cord, ready to sew. And I didn't have a sewing machine, so I had to wait a few days for the uh, power cord to be sent to me. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Dallas. <laughs> I lost my power cord and press the foot to my sewing machine. How I do not know. And so yeah, that 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 took me on a trip. I went on a journey with that one. But yes. Um Yes, Dallas. I just wanted to come in here and share with you guys. I I I I prayed about, I talked to God about doing this video. And whether I was going to be officially quitting YouTube or taking like an actual, like a real, real break from YouTube, like not even trying, like just, or quitting YouTube. But, um, I'm not going to be that dramatic and that serious, <laughs> which is okay. Which is those who, people who do it, cause I, I know, um, Aunt, um, Jackie Aina did it and she went on TikTok and got her million and I know that's right. Um, I don't know. Maybe it'd be me next. I don't know. Um. My cousin, she just hit 10K on TikTok, and I'm, girl, get it. I love that for her, so maybe I need to go to TikTok. 
put all in in TikTok. But yes, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna quit YouTube. YouTube has been my home for the past eight years. Creating content for YouTube sometimes kept me from going insane when I was in that house and I was taking care of my grandmother and I just oof Jesus. So I don't want to leave YouTube. My oh, was it eight nine year YouTube anniversary is coming up in May in April. And so, I may do something for that. However, I am going to step back from trying to have, trying to put on the, the, the delusion, put on the illusion of trying to create long term, long format videos. I'm going I'm to stop trying. I'm, I'm, I'm going I'm to pause on it real quick. Cause I feel like I'm hurt myself. I feel like I'm embarrassing myself. Cause I want to do so much on YouTube. And I can't do it and it upsets me. And then I'm also disappointed that I can't I have all these creativity and ideals and I can't execute them. And I know I sh and I'm not being hard on. I'm trying not to be hard on. Not I'm trying not to be hard on myself because I have a physical thing and I have and I have been physically unwell. Like I'm I'm at. But uh, like I said, creativity is my life. Creating is my life. Fashion is my life. I breathe it. I love it. And I haven't been able to perform to my best abilities. And it's, it's been hard on me emotionally, I'm not going to lie. It's been hard on me emotionally. I've not been okay about it. Like I said, it took me, it's taken me some time to understand and really grasp the definition of a chronic pain disease. An, an incurable situation as andromesiosis. And again, it is not... For those people who say, you know what, it could be, it's better than, I um, I can only speak for myself. <laughs> I can only speak about me and my experience. But living with this for the past year, two years, <laughs> I mean, out of nowhere, I could be, I have been at, I have been at work. Teaching the children about colors and shapes, okay? Teaching them how to shade, about perspective, okay? A right to how to draw the human face. And I've slowly slipped into what I now know is a flare-up. Slowly, gradually fall, feel that thing rise in me. Go to take one of my emergency narcotics that I don't like, that I try not to take because I have to work. But I took it just to see, take the edge off and it to do nothing. And I'm sitting at that table like this and the kids are talking to me. And I have to go put on a movie for them to sit down and watch so I can figure it out. And I have to flag down the principal to be like, hey, yo, I think I need to go home. Because I am literally in so much pain, I want to cry, and I leave, and I'm sitting in the office waiting on my Uber, and the 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 a sweet lady, the minister later is like, she's so, she like, oh my god, I, I physically look in pain, and I just come in the house and I just lay in my bed and cry, I just lay in my bed and cry, and my sister's like, what are you doing home so early? I had to leave work a whole hour before I get off. And that shit. That shit fucks me up. This shit fucks me up. I've been at church. I've been at church and I've had to sit down. People coming about it and I'm in pain. I've had to have a talk with my friends and be like, if there's ever a situation where I don't show up, I don't come. 
and I text you and I tell you I'm not well, please know I'm not just not coming, just not to come. Like, I physically cannot come. <laughs> I've had to call off work. I've had to call off work and be like, I can't, I just, I'm, <sighs> no matter how much breathing and stretching I do, that shit don't help. <laughs> I'm taking all the drugs. The only drugs left to take is this gummy and to slip away. Sometimes the gummy don't even like help fully, fully help. It just, I, I just be high and still be in little, and still be in some pain. Oh, okay. This video is getting too long. But yeah, um, I do want to say thank you to all those stylers who have been faithful and always comment, always like, always watch. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm not going to let this thing take me out. I'm not going to let it destroy me. That was my attitude, especially last year. Especially before September it was. I'm finna live my life. I'm finna, I'm not finna let this thing get me. And that's how I got in the situation I got in. In September I was she-hulking bins and boxes into, <laughs> into the car. And, and onto the truck and into storage. And then I went to two birthday parties. Yes, two birthday parties in the same day. I did that to myself. I ended up going. Got up and went to church the next day. Did, did some more moving and stuff. And then went to work. And barely was able to get to work. Got through work and had to get an Uber home because I was in so much pain. Walking to the bus stop started making me cry. <laughs> so, yeah. That was my attitude. I'm not going to let this thing take me out. I'm not going to let this thing hold me back. And that thing was like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, yes. um, I'm not going to let this thing take me out. I'm not going to let this thing hold me back. But I am going to listen to my body. I'm going to listen to her. And even though I don't like her, I'm going to listen to her. That is my business, stylers. That is my business. And I'm sharing it with you guys. So I hope you appreciate the fact that I'm sharing it with you guys. <sighs> I'm going to let you guys go. This video has, has reached its point. And I have to edit it. <sighs> Great. I made it work for myself. I have to. I'm going to edit it just a little bit. Just so it's not mm, this long. Um, but thank you so much, stylers, for watching. Thank you for showing up and being who you are. I have to move stuff around my room because it's a hot mess and then i'm going to make ramen and watch anime and vibe out because i'm still in pain i love you guys so 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 very much know that you are loved and you are worthy to be loved but always remember to love yourself fully until next time stylers i hope to be able to sit in front of you and say that again soon not so soon but in the future my